If 50 would fight Stevie, then I would fight Eminem. And then it would be the biggest pay-per-view celebrity boxing match in the history of this world. Sleeves and 50, me and Eminem. It would be crazy. And put us on the undercard of Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. I need that to happen, y'all. I'll fight Eminem. It's six fucking ounce gloves. Like, come on. Let me see damn near pillows. Fuck his scared of. I'm saying. Sleeves and 50. My money on sleeves all day. I know sleeves are not 50. Yeah, that's just my opinion. And I'll knock Eminem out 30 seconds into the round. Let's just do it. Let's do it. Let's get this bag. People want to see it. Let's do it. I need y'all to tag somebody. Put this out. Okay? Shady and G Unit versus the good, the good guys. If you want to throw Tony Yale in there, we get Peter Guns. Fuck it. Be loving hip hop. If you want to throw somebody else in, we'll get Cisco. The loving hip hop boys. Yeah, I would demolish him. I would beat the shit out of Eminem in a boxing match. No question. There's no question about it. I would dust him off, dog walk him, all that. You know what I'm saying? Let's make it happen, all right? We need y'all to make this happen. It's just celebrity boxing. It's not serious. It ain't all that serious. People get so serious. Entertainment. It's just, you know what I'm saying? It's three rounds, two minute rounds. You know what I'm saying? 16-ounce gloves. Like, come on. If Jake Wynn is fixed, no question. I don't give a fuck. Ain't no fucking way. Not with Mike's hitting. Nah, I can't see it. Oh, I would love to fight Joe Buttons. Oh, my God. I tell you what. I'll fight Joe Button for free. I'll do that for charity. I will break Joe Button's jaw for charity. <laughs> for real. Curtis, what's good, man? You and your feelings about Daphne? Is she with gang them? Or is it that you... Sucking little rod dick. <laughs> However it go, I want you to fade, nigga. Fuck all that. Since it's entertainment, let me beat the shit out of you on TV or something. Don't duck that. I'm calling you out. What you want to do, Curtis? Curtis! Listen, man, this just ain't no one-time thing. Every time I come to the D, motherfucker, big bear hold me down. Oh, yeah. All right, Grizzly, put that yeah. thing on you. For real. Fire on <laughs> Frozen spaghetti. Yeah, man. Nigga Benzino. 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 Yeah, but he 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 um he kind of felt it a little offended um about what you got going on right now. Snap dog, he is a rapper, a big rapper right. out of the city. I hope he sees like, this. I hope he got a lot of he got a lot of respect. I'm yeah. I'm I'm also one of the people right. that do respect right. him. So shout out Snap dog, but right. at the same time, I do feel like a lot of people still feel like you owe the city a kind of explanation. The, the 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 only explanation is that I came here. I got issues with Eminem. I kept it on Eminem's situation. I filmed it Eminem. That was now if if. If somebody could show me or prove that anybody who's upset has any type of affiliation with Mom Spaghetti, nobody got that ain't gonna happen. Then, hey, man, man. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know what else to say then. because Lord yeah, knows nobody was disrespecting not even employees. Yeah, the employees yeah, 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 yeah. were the, the employees were showing love. Like it wasn't no, you know, even after we, nah, but I, I we, know what it was. Let him say that. Let him say that. Let that, let that, say that. Even after that. I threw the spaghetti, we picked it up, put in the. I picked it up, put in the trash. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, so, but and then I want to. This is so. This is good. If you balance somebody and he has a restaurant and you got the food, the first. Thing while you doing in the video is throw that motherfucker. You gonna fling it? It's gonna yeah, fling it. We don't see uh, that do it. You ain't gonna sit there and eat yeah. it and be like, oh, this shit good as a motherfucker. Like, <laughs> 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 it's fucked up though. Like, hold on, wait, let's be real. That shit Come is whack. Yeah. I don't know how they get away with selling that, bro. Water on the streets. So these really
for threatening to beat up Eminem in a celebrity boxing match. Now, you all don't know what's going on. After Benzino pulled up at Eminem's restaurant in Detroit, shot a music video, the video was going viral on YouTube. He jumped on Instagram to say he won a celebrity boxing match. Now, this is not a surprising to you all, right? He said that, you know, he want to get on the ring, he want to do this, but he is not going to fight 50 Cent. He's going to leave Stevie J to do that, which is really crazy, right? Now, you all know that one person is not going to let it slide, which is 50. 50 is actually the type of person you say shit about him, it's going to come with a response. That's 50 Cent, right? 50 takes no bullshit. Now, he got on the phone, man. He was on call and he was talking about the situation, right? With a podcast. And he said, damn, bro, that broke ass old man, right? He's been talking crazy about Eminem, right? He's been be he's been so obsessed about Eminem. He's been, you know, trying to stalk Eminem and stuff like that. What the F is he talking about? Okay, how about this, Benzino? How about you come and fight me? right this is crazy how about you come and fight me this is 50 saying man responding to benzino trying to fight eminem because 50 already told him m is bigger than you right come after me man because you know 50 is always going to be loyal to eminem right he told benzino that eminem is bigger than him why don't he start with him first right they can go back and forth they can get on the ring and do all that because Benzino already knows that 50 is going to beat up his ass, which is crazy. Now, nah, bro, everybody talking that, you know, Benzino is a stalker, that he's been stalking Eminem. He's so obsessed about Eminem. How the F you pull up in a man's restaurant, uh, you know, go on podcast at Dream Champ, started crying. Why talking about the same man and doing all that crazy drama shit, bro? And you still hopped on Instagram and was like, yeah, I want to fight him in a boxing match. I mean, that was really crazy now. Everyone talking about it, saying that how the F the Benzino believe in his widest dream that Eminem is ever going to get on the ring with him and fight. That's crazy, man. I don't know what Benzino be thinking in his subconscious mind, bro, which is, you know, which is really crazy. But at the end of the day, just remember this. 50 Cent is coming after Benzino, right? He is going to do Benzino the same way he's doing to Diddy. And you all know Diddy never survived 50 cents, right? And 50 is never, ever going to stop. And that's the rules. But remember, man, everything said in the video is for entertainment and educational purposes. So everything is allegedly. Let me know what you all think, man. Smash that like button and subscribe to the channel.